Hi, my name is Nicola Askham and I'm back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. Now today's question is not about how to do data governance, but actually how to get into data governance. So um, a question I had last week was, how do I get into a career in data governance? And I thought this was a really good question because in my experience, most people don't get into data governance deliberately. I certainly didn't. Um, it often happens by accident. Um, you're involved in some related work and you suddenly have this realization about how beneficial data governance is and, and people then tend to choose to stay into that form. But what if you're not doing data governance at the moment and you want to get into data governance? Well, I'll be honest, if you're applying for a data governance manager or a data governance lead role, then most employers are going to be expecting you to have some relevant data governance experience. But if you're going to go for a more junior role, like a data governance analyst, then it's OK if you don't have any data governance experience at the moment. But what you do need is some relevant skills that you can bring to it, which will naturally make you good at doing data governance. And they're things like perhaps you've been a project manager or a business analyst, or I've seen people come from like a change management background or um, even from an IT point of view. So I've, I've, I've seen some people very successfully come from IT roles like uh, reporting and analytics um, and data architecture um, because they really enjoy working with data, but they wanted to get more involved with the people side of data and they've successfully transitioned to data governance. So if you, are not working in any of those areas at the moment, then I really would encourage you to, to perhaps, you know, try and get some experience of those, maybe by volunteer to work in, in projects already going in your organization. I always say is for your very first data governance role, it's always easier to try and do something in your existing organization, Pr try and use what you already know to get some relevant experience before you start looking elsewhere for pure data governance roles. So hopefully that's given you some ideas. Um, the second um, thing I would say to you is join a professional organisation. Now, I'll be transparent here. I'm on the committee of Dharma UK, which is the UK chapter of Dharma International, the Data Management Association. So I'm obviously going to recommend that you join your local chapter, but not just because I'm on the board, but because I genuinely believe that there are really good opportunities there. You get opportunities for learning and education and, and getting some of this skill set that you need to do the role. But, you know, Dharma UK, for instance, has a mentoring scheme for its members. So if you want to be getting into data governance, they will pair you with a mentor who will be able to advise you and help you. And, you know, there's also the networking benefits of belonging to a professional organization. Um, they will hold events and, you know, have webinars. You will start getting to hear a lot more about the topic. And talking about networking, I'd also recommend um, joining any networking groups and events, which means that you get to meet and, and hear and talk to other data governance professionals. So, for example, um, I've set up a, a meetup group with a couple of data governance friends. And, you know, we have people from all sorts of different um, levels of experience all getting together to talk about a data governance topic once every couple of months. And we're starting to share experiences, people are helping each other. And quite often the conversation turns to, oh, I'm recruiting for at the moment, does anybody know anybody? And somebody within the group will then apply. And, and you know, there is that old adage that, you know, people um, recruit who they know. And this is very, very true. And if you are relatively inexperienced in it, you're much likely to get hired by somebody who has already seen you and knows that you're really keen on the topic than somebody you just randomly send a CV to. So I hope that helps. If you do want to join the meetup group that I help run, you can see the link on the screen. And if you have any other uh, questions that you'd like me to answer in future videos, please just email them in to questions at nicolarascom.com.